Hi, I'm Dr. Mendez, and I'm going to be talking about the relationship between cardiovascular disease and erectile dysfunction. This is a very important topic because it potentially allows us a window to diagnose men with early signs of heart disease before they've had a serious event like a heart attack. I have a saying that for men, the heart and the penis are one and the same. Now that often gets a lot of laughs in the office, but from a physiology standpoint, there's a lot of truth to that. Both organs are heavily dependent on blood flow through their vessels for their function. If we've taken care of our body with good healthy exercise and diet, limiting the salts and sugars, maintaining normal body weight and blood pressure, the heart and the penis are going to function well. Now there are always exceptions with genetic predispositions that no matter how well you take care of your body and health, you may still have heart problems or erectile dysfunction, but these principles are still important to maintaining your health and preventing further disease progression. So how does this all relate back to erectile dysfunction? If a man comes into the office, particularly if he's less than 45 years old, complaining of new onset erectile dysfunction, my first question isn't, what pill do you wanna try? It's have you or any of your family members been diagnosed with heart disease? If he hasn't been previously checked for high cholesterol, high blood pressure, or other signs of heart disease, I encourage him to schedule close follow-up with his primary care to do so. The reason is erectile dysfunction symptoms will develop an average of two to three years prior to cardiovascular disease. This provides us a critical window of early intervention because we know some men without treatment will go on to have a cardiovascular event, such as a heart attack, stroke, or peripheral vascular disease within three to five years of being diagnosed with erectile dysfunction. Once your primary care doctor has cleared you for sexual activity, we can discuss treatment options.